Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our reasoning session and in this particular session we are going to discuss about setting arrangement. Uh, there are various types of setting arrangements. There are circular setting arrangements, uh, the uh, straight line setting arrangements, setting arrangement around a square, maybe a rectangle, various setting arrangements are possible, right? So the questions are like quite common uh, to be asked in various examination, bank examination, CAT examinations and any other examination in which aptitude is the main part, right? So we will be start taking good number of problems in this session. But uh, the thing is there are hardly any shortcuts while we deal with the problems of reasoning, right? You should practice well with the problems uh, so you can get a good grip. Or after practice, your time will be reduced to attempt the questions, right? So, how do we proceed for the session? You just pause the session after just seeing the problem, try to solve on your own, then match your answer and solution with mine. That would be the best practice, right? So, let's begin the session and uh, take the first problem. Our friends, whenever there are problems based on setting arrangements, there are almost three to five problems uh, in a single set, right? certain informations are provided as we are uh, able to see over here and based on this information uh, we are asked about three to five problems so what should be our strategy first of all to get the important extract from the uh, instructions right or from the information that is given over here right and we should present them in a readable and uh, readable format precisely so here in this case suppose we take up this problem Four ladies A, B, C and T and four gentlemen E, F, G, H are sitting in a circle round a table uh, facing each other, right? Now the instructions are there are four ladies and four gentlemen that means in all there are eight people. No two ladies or two gentlemen are sitting side by side. C who is sitting between G and E is facing D. This information and this information. In first instance, no need to read all the information. You start making the diagram, right? And what that diagram will be? Uh, it is a circular round table. So first of all, let's draw a circle. And we uh, will make a uh, mark eight positions for A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, H, right? So just see, uh, wait a moment. Now, here we have made a circle and there are eight positions one two three four five six seven eight right so we have drawn a circular arrangement with eight positions vacant right now we start filling the positions now from the first set no two ladies or two gentlemen are sitting side by side fine uh, let's proceed to the next instruction c who is sitting between g and e is facing d so that means suppose i assume c to be here he is facing D. That means D is over here. And this C is sitting between G and E. So I assume G here and E here. Right? Now, F is between D and A is facing G. Now, F is between D and A and is facing G. So F is facing G. So if G is here, F will be here. So F is facing G. F is facing G and F is between D and A. So F is between D, that means A should be here, right? Now, this is complete. H is to the right of B. So right position, how can we get the right position? If I uh, 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 position H over here, then on the right side of that, we can uh, make B sit. So H will be here and B will be here, right? The reverse arrangement cannot be done because in that case, B will be, uh, H will be on the right side of B. I'm sorry, we want H to be right on B. So B will be here and H will be here. Now this is the complete arrangement. Now straightforward, you just answer the questions because based on this, uh, uh, these information, there are three to five problems. So once you have spent time on making this arrangement, after that there is hardly any time to answer the question. Now friends, there are three questions uh, in this set. Now uh, I'll just scroll the screen because I have drawn the diagram in another screen. So just read the question first of all, who is sitting to the left of A? So, 
left of A. This is A facing uh, on this side. So this will be on right, E will be on right and F will be on the left. Getting my point? Just try to uh, understand this thing. A is facing B. That means they are facing each other. That means right side of A, E will be there and left side of A, F will be there. So we are asked about who is sitting to the left of A. That will be F only. Right? Now E is facing whom? Now where is E? E is facing H. As simple as that. So E is facing H. Who are the immediate uh, neighbors of B? Just see, neighbors of B, these are H and G. So, G and H, right? So, we took time on drawing that particular diagram. After that, it hardly takes any time to mark the answers of the questions, right? So, if you take two minutes to draw the diagram, so in that particular two minutes, you are solving three to four, three to five questions, right? So, it's worth spending. Okay, so I hope you are clear with this uh, particular set of uh, questions. Let's take the next set. Now here in this uh, set of questions, six girls A, B, K, D, E and P are standing in a row. It's not a circular arrangement. It's a linear arrangement. So I have drawn a line over here. Now B is between D and E. Uh, these uh, four instructions are given over here so first of all we do not take the negative that is does not and does not what's positive given to us first of all uh, let's try to fill that up now b is between d and p so it's p it's d and it's p right now e stands between a and k so a k and this is e right now, A does not stand next to either P or D. So, this arrangement is wrong because in this case, A is standing after P, right? So, so what, what do we do? We just reverse the arrangement. It is A, E and K. Then, uh, K does not stand next to D. So, K if uh, it does not stand next to D and B is between D and P so we just do it P B and D now all the informations uh, which are given uh, we have uh, put up over here and let's check it once again A does not stand next to either P or D that's correct K does not stand next to D that is also correct so this arrangement is Correct. That is A, E, K, P, B, D. This was wrong. Right? But we cannot uh, get the information, all the information first time. Uh, we cannot put all the information correctly. It, it will take some hit and trial. So, by hit and trial, we got this arrangement as clear. Now, it took us around one and a half minute to make this arrangement. Now, let's see uh, uh, what are the questions. Now the first question is P stands between. Now P stands between K and B, right? So P stands between K and B, okay? Now who occupy the extreme ends of the row? So it's A and D. So A and D. K stands between, so K stands between E and P. So it's E and P, right? So it took hardly 30 to 40 seconds answering all the three questions when we spent one and a half minute to draw the diagram, right? So it's worth spending. And I hope you are clear that you need to go for certain hit and trial to solve the problems based on reasoning, right? So let's take next set of questions now. Now, for once again, we have a circular arrangement. Six persons. Uh, first of all, let's draw the diagram and uh, mark six positions. Now, this uh, this is a diagram. P is sitting in front of Q, right? So, is P and this is Q. Q is sitting to the right of T. So, this is T because they are facing towards each other. So, right side of T, Q is there. So, Q is sitting to the right of T. So, T will be here. And left of R. 
so q is sitting to the right of t and left of r so r will be here right now p is to the left of u so uh, since uh, u will be facing over here so left of u so p is sitting left of u so u will be here because in that case u is facing over here so left of uh, u is p and right side is t okay and the remaining person that is p q r u t s is the remaining person so s will be sitting over here so p is to the left of u and right of s now the arrangement is completed now based on this arrangement we have to answer four questions now who is sitting opposite to r now who is sitting opposite to r that is u right so this is clear who is sitting opposite to s opposite to s is t so it's t who is sitting between p and r p and r that is s okay if the positions of p and r are changed who will be sitting between s and u so p and r are changed we have to find out the position between s and u and positions of p and r are changed that means r is here and p is here so who will be sitting now between s and u that is r so it's friends particularly in this question that is this particular question if the positions of p and r are changed though we answer the question that is r but sub, sometimes it has to be more precise the, that means p and r are interchanged right okay so if p and r are interchanged who will be sitting between s and u so in that case only uh, r will be sitting but if it is not given that the positions of p and r are interchanged just only changed so we do not know about the remaining positions so the question cannot be answered right unless until we know the remaining information so it will be can't be determined in this case so be very clear if the positions are interchanged then r will be the correct answer if positions are not interchanged then we cannot get the complete information hence the question cannot be answered at all right so i hope you are clear with this set of questions also now uh, in this set of uh, questions there is square arrangement of uh, eight persons right so first of all let's draw square and position eight persons since the uh, sitting arrangement in a square is bit uh, similar to the sitting arrangement in uh, around a circle right so first of all let's draw a square and mark eight positions now friends uh, you must be wondering that why i have drawn two squares uh, because in square there is maybe a problem of arrangement uh, on right and left so we fill the information in the both the squares after second or third step one square will be eliminated right so first of all i just mark eight positions both the squares right now the first thing is eight persons are there and there are three lady members and they are not seated next to each other no problem now j is between l and f so suppose j is here is between l and f so l and f now l the position of l and f can be reversed also so i mark the other position over here so j is over here and f is here and l is here right so just be careful now g is between i and f so g is between i and f so f is here so g will be here i will be here now in this case g is between i and f that means g will be here and i will be here right so this is clear this is clear h a lady member is second to the left of j so left of j is this 
so h a lady member is second to the left of j that means h should be over here and this is female member right now h is a lady member second left of j so second left of j in this a square it's already filled up that is g so this is incorrect now we proceed with this so you just eliminate this square okay so if we had not drawn the other square we might have made mistake right now h a lady member is second to the left of j this is done now f a male member is seated opposite to e f a male member f is male and is sitting opposite to e a lady member so e is sitting over here just eliminate this now e is sitting over here and this is female member now we are left with only uh, i think k right so k is here now there is a lady member with between f and i so f and i this is lady member that means g is female so we have three females that is g this e and this h right and now we have made all the arrangements so now let's answer the questions now who among the following are the three lady members now who are the lady members that is g e and h right so g e so the combination of g e and h is not there so it's none of these okay now which of the following is true about j j is a male male member so j is a male member that is true since we got to know the correct answer we don't have to proceed further j is a male member other options you can just see if it is male it cannot be male sex uh, sex of j can be determined because there are three female members only so the remaining are male so this is incorrect and position of j is determined uh, we already know that so it's in incorrect also so j is male male member that is the correct option right now the next question is who among the following is seated between e and h e and h e is here and h is here so here that is k right so it's none of this because k is not there now who among the following is to the immediate left of f immediate left of f immediate left of f is j right so it's j right now how many persons are seated between k and f k and f this is k and this is f so it's 1 2 3 persons right and from this side if we count it's 1 2 3 persons so there are three persons between k and f right so we answered 1 2 3 4 and 5 questions based on this particular uh, set of information right so it took time to uh, find this arrangement but after that it hardly takes any time to answer the questions so i hope you are clear now now uh, in this set of questions a b c d e f and g four and four eight people are there and they are sitting in row facing north right so i just mark the arrangements over here first of all a is fourth to the right of e i just mark e over here and a is fourth to the right since they are facing north so they are facing this side so on the right hand side that means this way so a is fourth that means 1 2 3 and 4 so a is here 
now this is done in this and this uh, we don't have information about e and a in this case h is left uh, next to the left of a and a is neighbor of b that means h is left that means h is here and a is neighbor of b that means b must be here now h is fourth to the left of d that means this this and this so h is fourth so it's d over here and one two three i'm sorry d must be here so one two three and fourth position right so this is done now c and f which are not at ends are neighbors of b and e respectively c is neighbor of b so c should be here and uh, f which uh, f is neighbor of e so f is here so now seven members are arranged g is left so g should be here now we have made the entire arrangement okay that is e f g h a b c d now let's take up the questions what is the position of f position of f is between e and g is next to the right of e i just do one thing i just draw the diagram once again over here it's e f g h a b c d now what is the position of f next to the right of e yeah this is correct next to the right of e right side of e so it's correct right now next is which of the following statements is not true g is neighbor of h and f g is neighbor of h and f that is true b is next to the right of a that's also true e is at the left end that is also true d is next to the right of b d is next to the no it's uh, on the right of b c is there immediately right so it's not correct so this is the correct answer right now further i just write over here let's e f g h a b c d now who are the neighbors of d neighbors of d is c alone right now which of the following statements is not true so h is second to the right of f h is second to the right of f that is true e is fourth to the left of a a and left is 1 2 3 4 so this is also correct d is fourth to the right of h d is fourth 1 2 3 4 to the right of h that is also correct a is third to the left of d so d left is 1 2 3 so that is also correct so not true none of these every statement is true now who are sitting at the ends that is e and d right so Uh, that is not there in the option so it's none of these right so based on all this information we had to answer five questions so we took time in making this arrangement after that it's really easy so i hope you are clear with uh, the set of questions also uh, friends we have done four to five sets in this uh, particular session in the next session we'll take uh, more problems based on reasoning do revise this session and practice some problems on your own bye bye